Are you getting ready for a performance review? Watch this video for two impactful steps to take when conducting performance review conversations with employees. Hi everyone, my name is Trisha Palmieri and I'm a business coach and career consultant dedicated to driving passion and purpose in talent development. For more information on leadership topics, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. There seems to be a shift in the way that companies are viewing and delivering performance reviews. Some are simply doing away with them completely because they don't see the return on investment in the process. In my opinion, it isn't the performance review process that's broken, it's the lack of performance conversations throughout the year that make the process so ineffective. This video will help you prioritize performance conversations that will lead to successful annual reviews with your employees. I've used two effective tips in delivering hundreds of performance reviews. These actions are simple yet effective to having a successful performance review conversation. The first action is to communicate. Let your team know how their performance is going to be measured. What actions do they need to demonstrate for a successful evaluation? when will you have touch points to evaluate their performance, and what support do they need from you in order to achieve their goals. It sounds like a no-brainer, doesn't it? Why wouldn't you share that information? Employees need and want to know what the expectation is. The second action is to have intentional meetings about employee performance. It's like conducting micro-performance reviews throughout the year. Schedule 15 to 20 minutes to meet with your employees and evaluate the progress in their performance. Write down one to two key leadership behaviors that's linked to their performance. Your team will appreciate you taking the time that you invested in their development. Use the most and more effective approach to keep it narrow and concise and update their goals based on their current performance and development needs. I would recommend doing it once a month so that employee performance can be recognized or course corrected in a relevant time frame. There's nothing worse than getting feedback for something you did eight months ago in a performance review. Avoid a potential bad conversation by scheduling regular touch points with your employees to discuss their performance. Whatever approach that your company has around performance reviews, the concept of performance conversations should be consistent. Regular discussions about employee performance. That's it. Don't overcomplicate it with forms and PowerPoint presentations and timelines. Just talk to your people. When you give specific feedback, and ask for specific feedback, it will drive engagement and accelerate performance. Now you know what steps to take when writing and delivering performance reviews. It's an all year event. To help you out, I've included a one page touch point document to keep you on track with all your performance conversations. I included it in the link below. If you like this video, please let me know by liking and subscribing to my channel. Share it with leaders who you think might benefit from the information and comment below on which tip was most helpful to you. Are you interested in joining a community of leaders like yourself? Check out my private Facebook group, The Leadership Lounge. It's a place where leaders share best practices and collaborate on all things around business. I've also included the link to that below. Thanks for watching.